start with the, the model number 2 the model number 2 basically the first part is once again it is a continuation of the single phase transformer in which we are studying polarity test, some broad test, separation of phase stresses and eddy current forces that is pertaining to the, the transformer tests. In the, sec in the same single phase transformer how the, the parallel operation is takes place in the transformer, what is the necessity of the parallel transformer conditions and load sharing that we are studying in the parallel operation. Apart from that, we are studying the auto transformer and uh, the special type of transformer such as tab changing a transformer. Okay, these are the, the content of the, the module number 2. Then we will start with the, the transformer test that is a polar test and summer test. Then we will move to the separation of hysters in the anti current losses. In this session, just I will touch upon the polarity test and summer test. How exactly these tests are performed? and what is the necessity, what are the things we are calculating from the polar test, what is the objective of these two, ok, polar test and the Sambra test. The polar test is necessary to identify the primary and secondary polarity. It is basically at any given instant of time with respect to the primary and secondary, the polarity of the the primary and secondary we have to identify. What do you mean by the polarity that we will see? It must, uh, it is a must for the polyphase uh, connections that is a polarity test because you have to connect a single phase uh, uh, transformers in the three phase bank connections. In that case, it is very essential. At the same time, this polarity test is also helpful for connecting the transformer in parallel as well as to for some test. All those things we need the prerequisite of the polarity test. The transformer which is connected to a low voltage AC source with the, the connection made as shown in the figure that we are showing in this figure that is LV side is connected to the you can see here that is connected to low voltage that is a VS then you have to apply a small voltage you can see the, the connection diagram here that is between uh, the primary and secondary that is between primary and secondary you are connecting one voltmeter across the terminals of the primary and secondary then one of the, the terminals of the primary and secondary they are they are short circuited here you can see here ah, then you can note on the, the value of V1 that is V2 as well as the V3 if the V3 that is the this voltmeter V3 reads the difference between V1 and the V2 difference between V1 and V2 then the polarity what you are connecting this as the phase of portion means at any given instant of time that is what you mean by that is show, show you that is the potential of this voltage is it is a rising here is also the potential is also rising therefore we are getting a difference of v1 minus v2 that is means at any given instant of time if it is a positive and this is also the positive in that case this voltmeter reads that is v3 reads that is v1 minus v2 means you have to mark the polarity this as the highest polarity with respect to the other one. You can see that in the subsequently. Okay. You are applying and you are measuring the voltage. Then what I am calling here is that is I will call this as A2 this as A1 similarly this on A2 means if this is the polarity this is a polarity means if it is showing the difference means this is dot this is dot means at any instant of time this A2 and this A2 are have a higher potential at any given instant of otherwise the A2 has got higher potential with respect to A1 in the primary side at the same time the A2 has got higher potential with respect to 
a1 so that at this instant of time the voltmeter b reads the, the difference between that one. The same thing is written here. A supply voltage is Vs is applied to the primary and the reading of the V1, V2 and V3 are noted off. If the V3 reads V1 minus V2 then assume that the locations are correct means the whatever the dot you are given is the correct here. If V3 reads V1 minus uh, V2 then assumed locations are correct then beginning and the end of the polarity and the secondary may be marked uh, by A1, A2 and A1 and A2 respectively. Means the higher potential is always marked with the A2 and the lower potential is always marked with the A1. Okay, whatever may be the polarity position. That is highest potential you can mark with the A2 and the lowest potential is A1. Means at primary the A2 has got higher potential with A1 at the same time the, the secondary also A2 has got higher potential with the A1. Okay. If the voltage rise, if this voltage V, if the, this voltmeter reads the sum of Vn plus V3, then this polarity are not a whole good. You can observe the, the second figure. figure. I am applying the voltage V here. I am measuring the voltage V1, V2 and V3. In this case, this voltmeter reads, this voltmeter reads V1 plus V2. What do you mean by that V1 plus V2? Just you can see here. That is, in that case, the polarity is like this. That is, there is a rise in the potential here and here this is a rise in the potential from this point to this point. In that case, the V3 reads V1 plus V2. What do you mean by that is, see here, in this case, in the first case, I will show you with the help of the, see here. Here there is a rise in the potential. Here is also rise in the potential in the secondary side. Then it shows V1 minus V2. In this case, in this case, there is a rise in the potential here. That is, you can call V1. Here, in the second side, the voltage is rising from this point to this point. The voltage is V2 here. Means what is the total voltage? It is a V1, it is adding to the tip of here, that is V1 plus V2. Here it is apportioned, you can see here, there is a apportion between V1 and V2. Here these V1 and V2 are, they are adding. Therefore, they are polarity mark this as a, the highest potential of the primary bending here and highest potential of the secondary is here because there is a rise in the voltage from here to here. In that case, this voltmeter reads V1 V plus V2. Therefore, you have to mark the dots at this point, means this point is higher potential. At the same time, this has got higher potential, this part. Then you can mark that as the A1 and A2 accordingly. You can see here. Therefore, this is A2. A2 has got higher potential with respect to A1. Then at the same time, you can see here, observe here. I mark this as A1, this has marked as A2. Then in that case, this has got dot convention here and this has got dot convention here. Because the, VAT, the voltmeter which is connected is V1 plus V2. Means at any given times, this potential is highest than, then this potential is also highest. At the same time here also, at any instant of time, this, uh, this dot is has got higher potential. At the same time, the secondary this potential has, has also got the, the highest potential. This is how we have to uh, mark the, the which has got the highest potential that has marked as a dot. That is the only the things here. In this case, if the V1, uh, V3 reads V1 minus V3 means the rise in the potential, they are opposing each other. Therefore, dot connection will come at this point. When if it is V is equal to the V1 plus V2, V2 if you are getting in that case, the dot convention will change. That what we are saying here. Okay, this is about the, the polar test. Means our main objective is to you have to mark the highest potential of the primary and the secondary bending with the help of the dots by measuring the, the voltage between the two terminals. If the two terminals which are connecting for measuring the voltage, it creates the difference they have got 
the same potential. If the voltmeter reads the sum of that one, then there is a change in the dot conversion. That are exactly opposite. Okay. Now we'll go to the the sample test, or it is also called as a back to back test. Once again, the sample test is basically determines the the parameters of the the transformer as well as it is help us to calculate the efficiency of the transformer. The basic difference between the OC test and the sampler test is that you are taking in the case of sampler test the setup is keep for some more time so that there is a rise in the temperature can be observed by raising the temperature what is the effect of the rise in the temperature on regulation and efficiency can be observed that is the advantage of the sampler test therefore for a sampler test we need the two similar transformer having the same rating we need two transformer they are connected back to back that is output of one transformer is connected to input and the output of the first transformer is connected to input of the the second means the total whatever the power we are inputting for the sampler test is equivalent to the the total losses occurring in the the to, to, two transformer then you have to divide the uh, losses per transformer that we will see one by one here it is what he is telling here is Find out the regulation efficiency and heating under load condition can be observed in the sampler test. That is, we can. What is the rise in that the, the the transformer because of the losses? Then setup can be keep it for some time. You can observe what is the effect of the heat on the the efficiency and regulation of the transformer. In case of sampler test, the efficiency regulation and rise in temperature can be obtained with small amount of power consumption that is whatever the power we are inputting it is not much it is equivalent to the losses in the the two transformer this is our performed on the two similar transformer i told you the power taken from the supply is necessary for supplying the losses in both the transformer that is the whatever we are inputting that is nothing but the losses in the transformer the two primary windings of the identical transformer are connected in parallel you can observe here that is first what you have to do is two of the similar transformer their primary winding are connected parallelly and connected to the supply that is the first thing and the secondary winding of the two transformer are connected back to back that is a phase opposition you have to connect secondary primary you are connected parallelly the secondary windings they are connected to back to back that is phase opposition way you have to connect the secondary winding and in the primary you have to apply the rated voltage and in the secondary what you have to do is you have to inject the rated current you are performing just like a open circuit and a short circuit test that is you have to apply the rated voltage to the the parallel connected the primary windings whereas you are injecting the rated current in the phase opposition connected the secondary winding okay just we will see the setup how exactly this looks like I have got a two transformer. I am taking. I am marking the polarity. Duly I mark the polarity. At any given time, it has got higher potential with respect to this. This also has got higher potential. This has got higher potential with this. It has got higher potential with this point. I have got two similar transformer. I have got two similar transformer. I kept it back to back. You can see here. It is LV winding here. It is HV winding here. And here LV winding. Sorry, HV winding. It is LV winding. This is acting as a primary. This, that is a low voltage winding, is act as a primary. These two windings are connected in parallel. Just you can see, I have got. I need a transformer to apply the rated voltage. Therefore, I have got a transformer. And you can see here, the secondary windings are connected in phase opposition. See here, this higher potential, this also higher potential. They are connected here. You have to connect the voltmeter so that. it has to show the difference between these two here you are using the similar transformer therefore this voltmeter has to show the zero value then only you have to close switch and the secondary windings are connected in phase opposition whereas the primary are connected in parallel to the the supply voltage here therefore i am connecting the primary first with the ammeter with the wattmeter m and l and it is the potential coil of the wattmeter and the voltmeter you can see here 
the observe this these are two are connected in parallel this is connected in parallel that is this one this is connected in parallel similarly other end is also connected in parallel and connected to back to the, the supply this is the initial setup just you have to go step by step just i'll show you once again okay here got i have got a transformer two transformer they are secondary is connected back to back then i have got a auto transformer and a switch then ammeter back meter and potential coil of the back meter and the primary windings are connected in a parallel and back to the supply and similarly you have to connect the secondary winding of the transformer to a supply voltage through a dimmer stud here you are injecting the the rated current see here once again we have got a switch and i have got a ammeter watt meter which is connected here which is connected to the secondary winding and the other end of the watt meter is connected to here once again that is all first you connect the primary winding parallelly connected to supply with the volt meter ammeter to watt meter and similarly in the secondary also connected through a ammeter watt meter and a volt meter i am showing the potential coil and also volt meter the procedure is very simple first what you have to do you have to apply the voltage first you have to check the the polarity of the the secondary winding that is this volt meter must read zero this volt meter must read zero then only you have to close the switch what you have to do is you have to apply small voltage around 20% of the rated voltage of the primary you have to apply see that for for example you are applying 30 volts if this volt meter reads 60 volts means these are not connected in phase opposition in that case you have to interchange the polarity of the any one of the primary winding then once again you have to apply 30 volts so that you can see here the volt meter reads zero means the secondary windings they are connected in phase opposition in that case you can close the switch then you bring back this to a zero value gradually increase the voltage so that this volt meter reads the rated voltage of the LD, lv winding you have to apply the rated you have to gradually increase the, the voltage by the dimmer stat so that this volt meter reads the rated voltage okay that is the first part first check the the polarity it should show zero then close the switch apply the rated voltage to the primary winding and very slowly just like it is short circuitous very gradually you have to increase the voltage so that this ammeter shows the rated current this ammeter shows the the rated current at that instant of time you note out the corresponding value of v2 and w2 that is how exactly we are doing as here we have to apply rated voltage and you have to inject here a rated current rated current and you have to take the the readings of the the ammeter voltmeter and the watt meters okay this how you have to take the readings that is i'm clear clear it off see here you know down v2 i2 and w2 it is a rated current it is a rated voltage corresponding to the ammeter watt meter you have to note down this is how you have to conduct the the sampler test the calculation part of the sampler test i'll take up in the next session